live in La Vida Golfer. Golfa? Golfa. <laughs> so this is an experiment in rage. Mm -hmm. And uh, once again, note 69. Gotta, you gotta get that 69 in. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so pissed. Oh. It's making me rage. That's cute that it says fool me once because it recognizes that you'd make that mistake exactly one time. I hope it doesn't say fool me once if you get it on the first try. <laughs> also, we're toast now. Oh, that was a that was a thing too. Uh, I am bread was an indie game. Oh yeah. That's an indie game I forget about. That was like the... was it, No, it wasn't the Quop guy. He went on to make uh, Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy. What was his name again? <laughs> I, uh... I don't know. The, the to I Am Bread uh, is very much in line, though, with like the Quop design aesthetic and the Surgeon Simulator design aesthetic, where the game is just absurd to try to control in any way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. They made a sequel to Surgeon Simulator recently, didn't they? Yes, they did. I haven't played it at all. Are you still a surgeon? I think so. You might be other uh, medical professions as well. I don't know why I'm saying that. That's probably not true. I might just be thinking of Trauma Team. <laughs> oh god, I would love a Surgeon Simulator, <laughs> simulator visual novel. <laughs> I think it would have been funny if in Surgeon Simulator 2 you had lost your license and you were just, you had to like use the wonky controls to file for unemployment. <laughs> These first person levels are kind of neat. Yeah, it's a hole in first person. Wait. <laughs> It's cool. It kind of reminds me of like some of my favorite VR games that are just about like flinging yourself in the first person. I haven't had much of a chance to play with VR stuff because it makes me very dizzy when I stand up and use it. And I've only ever seen it in spaces where I'd have to stand up to use it, mm. like at conventions and stuff. Yeah, I got a PlayStation VR for cheap. Oh, nice. Yeah, so I messed around with that for a while. I mostly bought a PlayStation VR to LP the Guncrave game for it. <laughs> I recorded that game. That, L that LP will happen eventually. There you go. People are getting secret LP updates. Updates within updates. If you can break the code, you can find out what the next game for the LP is. <laughs> Do you mean the code that the computers are showing? Because I'm noticing there's like lines and dots, and I'm wondering uh, if that's... That's probably nothing. <laughs> I tried to look up like if that meant anything, and I couldn't actually find anything. Swing break. I like this one. This is neat. You're just kind of jousting forward, thrusting your putter. It would have been cool if um, they had gotten Rodney Dangerfield to read all the things whenever you score. <laughs> You know, I think it would be cool, but unfortunately, I just don't know if he has, you know, the... The acting chops? Yeah. No. <laughs> I don't know if the if the the studios would give him the, uh, the time of day. Yeah, for the Game Awards, we would have seen 
announcer of what the golf Rodney Dangerfield wins first place. <laughs> he gets the little medal. I don't know what they give out at the Game Awards. The Game Awards is very much a uh, I just watch it for the commercials <laughs> event. <laughs> He, uh, he would finally get the recognition. That's the that's the thing he always wants. He says, folks, I get no recognition. Mm-hmm. He's like, I wish there was a scene of recognition I could get. <laughs> <laughs> Remember one Game Awards where there was a bunch of anti-vaping commercials? Yes. That was cool. That was incredible. Um, my favorite Game Awards moment absolutely continues to be uh, Joker showing up in Smash and surprising everyone. That was very cool. And uh, now we would find that incredibly banal. I don't know why I failed right there. <laughs> Didn't seem like I did anything that would warrant that, but okay. Like, you could put... I don't know. Tomba from the PlayStation 1 game Tomba in there, and everybody would be like, oh, I called it. <laughs> yeah, nothing surprising anymore. I'm gonna say it here, because you have an audience. I want them to put the Harvest Moon guy. I always thought his name was Jack, but I guess it's John. I want that classic Friends of Mineral Town Harvest Moon guy to be in Smash. That's my new Pipe Dream Smash character. Even if they have to call him Story of Seasons guy? Oh, no. Yes. I guess that would be okay, too. They should just call him Jack and not give any explanation. There is, like, something I find so endearing about, like, his weird, like, overhead RPG sprite, but also he's wearing a baseball cap. Uh-huh. I just, I just love that so much. <laughs> I did play quite a bit of, uh, that, uh, Friends of Mineral Town remake that they put out for the Switch. Uh -huh. That was that was pretty good. I enjoyed that. If you pre-ordered it, you got a plush uh, strawberry cow, which is good. These parts, a lot easier to play with the mouse than with the controller, I'll say that. Oh jeez, I can't imagine playing that with the controller. That almost makes you feel like you're cheating. <laughs> oh wow. This is like the lollipop forest. Oh, <laughs> cool. They gotcha. Big fan of all these horses that are just being, like, pulled up by balloons. Mm -hmm. Gotta pop the balloons. No, I don't think I do. <laughs> What's your favorite first-person shooter? My favorite first-person shooter? Oh, boy. Uh, I guess Borderlands is kind of fun. I don't have a lot of, uh... Right, you love the story. Right. I mean, I love the, the comedy. The memes are just so funny. You're just a big Anthony Birchhead, really. <laughs> you know, I know people who are really into the Borderlands lore, and I guess I can't blame them because I get really into the lore of really absurd things. You know, I've been playing Dead by Daylight a lot recently, and that game has some lore. And I've been reading about it, even though it's very goofy and unimportant lore. I don't know, all the lore I read seemed cool. <laughs> I like that they couldn't get the rights for any of the people that were Ghostface, so they just had to make up a new Ghostface. Yes. 
Uh, separating the rights between the costume and the actual franchise is very funny to me. Do they have to do that for multiple franchise? Like, for Freddy Krueger, are they like, his name is Freddy Krueger? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool. And he was a janitor. <laughs> I was going to make a joke about Groundskeeper Willie being Freddy, but then I remembered that was just a thing that they did. Of course it was. <laughs> Look, once you do 70 treehouses of horror, eventually it just kind of overlaps. <laughs> I think this was one of the early ones. Man, Simpsons Treehouse of Horror was wild because I had no... Uh, I had no experience really watching horror movies, so I would see a lot of Trios of Horror episodes watching The Simpsons and just not have any frame of reference for the source material. You'd just be like, why is everybody dying? <laughs> when I was in elementary school, people were talking about Freddy vs. Jason as being, like, the greatest movie they had ever seen. And I was like, that is a rated R movie. It might only have been PG-13, I don't know. Um, but I did not watch it. It was probably an R. But I mean, like, the people at the Criterion Collection agree with those middle schoolers, so. <laughs> when are we gonna get the Criterion Collection re-release of the Justice League? Do they have to make it the Snyder Cut? No, it's, it's gonna be a third cut. Ideally. Oh, wow. The weed and cut. Just even more quips. What? Cool. I think it would be difficult to play golf on a pogo stick. <laughs> they should put the putter under three cups and then switch the cups around. Or not the putter, the hole. They did that. Did they? Did they do that? You were there for that. Oh no, it's been so long. <laughs> Rick doesn't even know what golf is anymore. <laughs> Is golf just this blank screen? Yes. Don't worry, they're loading in a lot of assets. Oh boy. Well, I appreciate this bubble rocket. It's a little bit of the bubbly. <laughs> I'm not a big champagne guy. I have only ever had sparkling grape juice, which I'm told is similar enough. Probably doesn't have the alcohol taste in it, I'd assume. Does not have the alcohol taste. My big problem with champagne? Uh, the way it's spelled. <laughs> they should, they should, uh, we should go back to the style of, uh, Old English, where you just something was spelled correctly if it effectively sounded out to be the word you wanted it to be. That's the good stuff. No more of like the fucking silent bees or the anything the French do. Right. Now there's gravity. Cool. I like that this game is top-down, but I gotta say, sometimes gravity stuff in video games or in movies gets me real dizzy. Okay, well, let me know if you're feeling sick. Oh, no, I, uh, I think I'll be okay. Prepare your barf bags. <laughs> oh, so you're controlling the gravity now. Mm-hmm. It's like I'm God. <laughs> Except these soccer balls got stuck.
dang, you got this. Yeah, uh, I'm a bit of an expert when it comes to throwing soccer balls around using gravity, I guess. <laughs> I like that the worm changes places. That is cool. We're seeing how the worm turns. Well, I like most of these levels, I find navigating this place to be the most difficult. I am constantly hitting flags I do not want to. Yeah, this is a... This is a tough looking... Okay, here we go. This is like how you barfed playing Super Mario Galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> now we're in a washing machine. <laughs> That's nice that you don't have to do five balls and par. That would be a lot. Unless there's a secret turbo challenge mode or something in here. Oh god, don't even make me think about that. <laughs> I think I just realized that it only switches whenever you jump. Huh. Interesting. I guess that makes it a little more manageable. Yeah. It's still very hard to look at. Oh, yeah. See, Rack, I told you golf on a pogo stick would be easy. <laughs> I wonder if this worm is like some deep lore thing. Is this environmental storytelling? <laughs> oh. They're bringing back the meat boy. I don't ever want to meet that boy. <laughs> That's a real bilm. Boy, I would like to meet. there eventually. No, I'm stuck. Oh my god. Please. Please let me out. <laughs> oh gosh. This is your own personal groundhog day. More like ground hell day. <laughs> you know, they made a musical out of Groundhog Day and I got <laughs> I gotta say, the Groundhog musical, it's pretty alright. Oh, that's good. They also made, um... a VR game out of Groundhog Day. <laughs> Is that true? Yes! There's an official sequel to Groundhog Day where you play as Bill Murray's son. This just doesn't sound right. I think I'm being pranked. <laughs> You wish you were being pranked. I actually have no idea how good that game is. I don't think anybody <laughs> ever talked about it after the trailer released. My god. If this is true, I'm gonna lose my mind. 
That should have been in the Game Awards. <laughs> Best Bill Murray son. Yeah, let's talk about our Game Awards picks right here on the on the video. That won't make anybody annoyed at all. Right. It also won't date the video. Mm-hmm. Um, the next time we record, we're gonna be living in a, a yet again a new America because the Game <laughs> Awards will have been decided. Animal Crossing New Horizons will have swept every category that it's nominated for, and also several categories that was not nominated for. Yeah, uh, best of performance goes to Tom Nook. <laughs> when Timmy and Tommy died, he really sold it. I gotta say, you know, you've got an audience, so I gotta say it, Jay. When are they gonna finally put a third upgrade to the Tom Nook store? I want that department store. I'm sick of only having the second tier. Wait. You, there's only, like, the... The corn shack and the... I don't know why I called it a corn, corn shack. shack. That's not... Corn shack baby. <laughs> but there's only, like, the shack and the convenience store. Yeah. Ah. They haven't ever gone past the convenience store. If there was a fourth tier, what would you want it to be? Would you want it to be a whole Tom Nook mall? Oh, that'd be cool. I want to go to the Tom Nook Gap. I think we're in for some deep lore about Gracie and Label's relationship. I'm just going to say it. When they finally add Gracie into the game. Is Gracie the dog? <laughs> Gracie is the uh, giraffe. Oh. Who is uh, transgender in Japan only, apparently. Oh, that's like um, how in Paper Mario. Lydia, I think? Vivian. Vivian. And maybe she's also transgender in Italy. I don't remember. <laughs> if that was unique to Italy, then I'd have to say Italy would be the most woke country. <laughs> and that's why they got the coronavirus so bad. I've heard Seth MacFarlane is the most woke TV person. But, uh... <laughs> Okay, you're talking about how nobody's gonna get our Game Awards joke, but <laughs> you're specifically making a joke only for the people in our Discord. Uh, it, you know, some people might- A joke might. about how funny Family Guy is. Yeah, some people might, if they are listening to this within, you know, a few days of when this releases, and they have been paying attention to all of the different online dramas that have been happening, and some of the external cons or uh, external, what do you call it? Rec, you are very like optimistic about like my editing time. <laughs> Look, when this comes out, just think back to uh, four months ago and what was big on Twitter. <laughs> just think, what were people mad about four months ago? <laughs> and the answer might surprise you. <laughs> Oof. Oh man, they don't even make you get bloody when you get hit by the saw blades. Well, this is a family game. If your family is a bunch of lunatics... <laughs> I don't think I've ever played a family game because um, my parents both hate video games. You know, I had uh, the first Spire of the Dragon game my mom would play uh, and also the Rugrats uh, Search for Reptar game. I think my mom helped me out with some tough levels back then, um, but I quickly surpassed both of my parents in video game skill. Right, you were the one that found Reptar eventually. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. I think I rented Search for Reptar. Is the final level of that game like a kaiju battle where you play as Reptar? Yes. God. I don't know if there's a battle, but you do get to destroy a city. That owns. It was very cool. Reptar was always such a weird part of, like, Rugrats. Yes. Because, like, what toddler is into Godzilla? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it was autobiographical. Maybe, uh... 
Maybe the guy from Devo was into... Yes. <laughs> Uh, it was Klasky Chupo, so it was like... Yeah? I forget their names. They're very European. I don't remember. I know uh, Dr. Nick apparently looks exactly like one of the Klasky uh, Chupo people. Oh, right, because they did, like, the first three seasons of Simpsons? Something like that, yeah. It's weird to think... Klasky and Chupo, both last names and not, like, just random assortments of words. <laughs> just the, a bunch of letters all mashed together. That's just Poland for you. God, I fucking hate this level. <sighs> I think I kept in all my attempts, just so the viewers would hate it as much as I do. Oh, you got it. Moist? Yeah, you know, like, super moist boy. You know, people hate the word moist. But you love it. But I think it's okay. I think there are worse words. To wreck, it's the cellar door of words. <laughs> now, Jay, you've got an audience, so I gotta get this out there. I think a worse word than moist, bulbous. Oh, bulbous is pretty bad. Bulbous is bad, and you know... Unless you're talking about, like, a bulbous bouffant. I love Bulbasaur, but a bulbous sore is very bad. <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah, I think that's called a carbuncle. <laughs> you do not want to be oozing pus. Two more bad words. I think moist gets a bad rap. I, I, I prefer ooze far more to... Um, moist, because ooze has a very 90s connotation, I feel. Sure, that is true. We are from the slime generation. Mm -hmm. They call us millennials, but we know the truth. <laughs> We're slime millennials. Generation slime. Yep, there's Generation X, Slime, and Z. Speaking of Generation Slime, a bunch of turtles. Cool. I have to go back because it sent me down the thing when I wanted to get the treasure. <laughs> We're gonna make it. I hate gravity. Gravity sucks. Gravity's bad. <clears throat> we should get rid of gravity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee. Or like, bavity. keep forgetting how to get up there. I think I'd do it eventually or something. Who cares? <laughs> oh no. We've lost steam. That's it. I'm goth now. <laughs> I believe in you. <laughs> oh god, that was close. And you got it. Oh, an apple. I get it because of gravity. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Because Steve Jobs invented gravity. What, what, what's the chicken for, smart guy? <laughs> oh, no, there was a small heart. God, the way the music speeds up in these sections is so satisfying. Yeah. That's cute. Oh no. <laughs> he begged you to stop. They just want to play. And I refuse to listen. 
Finally, we get to see these hockey turtles. Now I know where I come from. 